What's happening here now? Uh, it's a protest for Kajim Powell. He was murdered uh, uh, like uh, two weeks after Michael Brown last year. Uh, this guy right here filmed the shooting. My, my friend Mike Hassel. Uh, hey, come here, Mike. Yes, sir. This is my friend Mike. He filmed the actual shooting. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They got their guns out. They murdered him. Murder. They destroyed him. They killed him. They shot him worse than they had shoot an animal in the street. We're not dogs. We're not deers. This ain't your target practice. You can't keep continue to hunt us. This is not slavery. And describe the situation, how it happened. Murder. I just described it to you. Murder. 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 That's what they did. Murder. You call it a war. I believe it is, and, and it's, it's, it's crazy that we use language like it's a war, but it's really not even a war, because in a, in a real war, there are casualties on both sides. We don't have police casualties. We don't, we, we don't kill police officers. They come to our neighborhood. We, we might yell, curse at them, spit at them, throw some stuff, but we haven't killed any of them. So like, even when we use the language of this is war, like really is it war? Because if it's war, who's winning? The other side is definitely winning by a long shot. So I don't even like to really necessarily refer to it as war for real. I think it's, it, it is urban warfare being unleashed upon us, but we've yet to actually declare war on them. And this is actually where the arrest, original arrest took place, where the Blue Angel. Um, the arrest shows that it, it, he just ran over here, and this is where they caught him. It, the video starts with him, like, you know, getting carried into the, the police van right here. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Feel like I'm preaching to the choir while the choir singing hymns. Meanwhile, I'm in a room full of demons. John, uh, it's a very excited crowd where I am standing right now. Come on, get out of the way, man. Get out of the way. Don't touch me. Well, you, I didn't touch stop blocking my camera. I want you and Fox News to get out of Baltimore City because you're not here reporting about the, ball, the boarded up homes and the homeless people under MLK. You're not reporting about the poverty levels up and down North Avenue. Exactly. Two years ago, when the 300 man marched, we marched from the top of Hilton to from Hilton and North to Milton and North, you weren't here. But you're here for the black riots that happened. You're not here. You're not here for the death of Freddie Gray. And I heard him say tensions are high. But he was trying to provoke people. And I just walked up to him and was like, nah, bro, you got to leave here because that's not what we're doing. We're trying to get the police to drop their riot gear and say a prayer with us. And, 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 and we're, you know, we're trying to get the police to leave, and you're trying to get the police to stay. Why are you, why are you running away? I'm not just running. Please, please, he got Toronto on the right, y'all. When he walked away, it was like, it was like a symbolism of America turning its back on black people for so long when we've been protesting peacefully. And that's what happened. I think that's the symbolic nature of everything. Without that badge, you a bitch in the hand. We stand fuck the police. Fuck the police. Without that badge, you a bitch in the hand. We stand fuck the police. You want my true opinion of the police, I hate the police. I, I believe that we, I, for black people in this country, we don't need the police. Uh, anytime the police show up, it's to jail us or shoot us. Get the fuck out! So you show up to someone's community and say, okay, I'm here with every weapon in the world, but you must remain peaceful. 
Like at that point, we're, we're kind of idiots if we allow you to come here with 200 machine guns and we don't even throw a rock at you. At that point, we're idiots. They killed that little boy before he killed, before they even went in the house. They fucking lied. Them motherfuckers lied. They lied. I think Black Lives Matter is just about black ownership. When people ask what do we want, we want the same things that everybody else wants. I don't, I don't want to uh, walk outside my door and have an M16 in my face. We can start there. Uh, I would like to be able to have healthy options of food to eat. I would like uh, to actually be able to get a job that provides for my family substantially. Um, I want the same basic things that everyone else ha wants. But more importantly, what I believe we want politically is just ownership of ourselves, ownership of our struggle, ownership of our message, uh, and ownership of our actual fight. It's time to stand up. Martin Luther King dead, Malcolm X dead. It's time for somebody to stand up. Y'all ain't got no answers though. Y'all in the nigger union. The nigger union. Naturally, a lot of people make the comparison with the civil rights movement. It's not the civil rights movement at all. It's the end of the video game right now for the civil rights movement. You have a black president. Um, he's from Africa. He's, he's, he's half African, half white. Uh, he has a globalistic perspective. He was a community grassroots organizer. And he can quote the hell out of a Martin Luther King speech if he needs to. Uh, that's it for them. That's what they were capable of producing. That's what they wanted, inclusion into the system. That inclusion has now happened, and we're still in a shitty position. Starts at one? Yeah. It's a protest in D.C. Yeah. Like an actual protest in D.C. Like a big one. You mean like a big one with like yeah. the big signs and the hell no, not just a march with that. like not just a march with Jamal Brown, but a, like a, a real protest. <laughs> if we work focused on community policing, where the police were raised in the community, so they appreciate the community, have values, they know the store owners, they know to meet people in the on the, in the streets, they know the children. So when the kids grow up, they know how harmless the children are, even if they, the, the your children are meant to be perceived as these thugs, you know then there would be a better community and there would be a better relationship. Look right there, you know, you see the boarded up homes and the trees growing inside the homes. That's old. It don't take two years for two days for no tree to grow. It takes years and years and decades for it to grow that big. So the trash, the undeveloped buildings. That when we go to school, we can't even drink out of our water fountains inside of our school buildings. You know, we don't have new textbooks. You know, there's only a select, there's only like two schools that are up to date. It's just, it's like having the cards stacked against you. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Yeah, you like Black lives matter! You can't stop the revolution! For me in particular, it just shows the power of protesting. And it's like, you know, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces. So it's like you're getting those same people who are energized. <laughs> going out and fighting for justice. And it's like to see those familiar faces and to have that, you know, that community inside of protesting. It's another beautiful experience, a part of this, you know, this whole movement. Black Lives Matter movement needs yeah. to do to change white hearts. No, I'm not talking about, I, look, change. I don't believe you change hearts. I believe you change laws, you change allocation of resources, you change the way systems operate. You're going to have to come together as a movement and say, here's what we want done about it. Because you know what? You Fuck Hillary Clinton, service. man. <laughs> That's what I say. You know, because it's all just a bunch of bullshit. Why do we have to give you ideas about what needs to be fixed when you're the politician? 
I'm not the politician. I'm the citizen. I just know that there's a problem. I did not sign up to get paid by the people that the problem is affecting to fix the problem. I didn't want the job. So since I didn't want the job, why the hell do I have to tell you how to do it? So I'm not I'm just not here for that part of the conversation. If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, shut it down. Eventually, it's going to come to a point where we have to uh, sway ourselves into a more militant standpoint. Um, I do believe that St. Louis and Ferguson represents that. It's, it's a more aggressive, it's a more uh, in your face, uh, it's, 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 it will appear to be more violent. Everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I think that that's. Uh, the next phase of the movement. I think the movement is moving.